Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add extrusion depth to your 3D layers. I will also show you how you can change the colors of the front, sides, and backs of your 3D extruded objects. The spoiler, if you don't want to watch the entire tutorial, if you want to add extrusion depth, you need to change the renderer from Classic 3D to Cinema 4D. I'll click on T for the Type tool, click on the Composition. I'm just going to type out the letter M. I'm going to go to the Selection tool, make sure the layer is selected, and then go to the Align panel, and I'll align it to the center of the composition. And now I'm going to convert this text into a shape layer. To do so, I'm just going to select the text layer, right click, control click, go to Create, then select Create Shapes from Text. I no longer need this editable text, so I'm just going to select it and delete it. Before converting the layer to 3D, I'll center the anchor point by pressing Command or Control and double clicking on the Pan Behind tool. And to convert this layer to 3D, make sure it's selected, just tick on the box under the 3D cube icon. If you don't see that, all you need to do is just right click or Control click, go to Columns, and check Switches. And now that it's a 3D layer, let's add Extrusion Depth, which is in the Geometry Options. So I'll twirl open the layer, go down to Geometry Options, but oops, it's grayed out. Well, here's the fix. You need to change the renderer from Classic 3D to Cinema 4D. As soon as I select Cinema 4D, you'll see here now Geometry Options are available. And if I twirl that open, we now have the option to change the Extrusion Depth. One important thing to note. So if I change this back to Classic 3D, Geometry Options gets immediately grayed out, but when I click on Change Renderer, when I change this from Classic 3D to Cinema 4D, you'll see here, these are all the things that are enabled when you switch it to Cinema 4D, including Extrusion, but these are all the things that are disabled. So if your 3D layer is not working as expected, it is possible that Cinema 4D disabled something. With the renderer set to Cinema 4D, to add Extrusion, I'm going to twirl open Geometry Options, go to Extrusion Depth Property, and just crank up the value for Extrusion Depth. But if I go to Transform and change the Y rotation so I can change this object on its side, and now when I change the value, you will see that we are adding Extrusion or Depth to this layer. And to change the colors so we can see what's going on, I'm going to twirl open Contents, and I'm going to select this group. I'll come over here to where it says Add. I'll click on the arrow. I'll click on Front, Color. You see it immediately changes to this red. I can just click on the color swatch and pick a new color, or use the eyedropper tool and select a color. With that group selected, I'll go back to Add, click on the arrow. Now I'm going to change the side color. I'll click Color, click on the eyedropper tool, and select a new color. Make sure that group is selected. Click on the Add back, click on color, I'll pick a new color, and to see the back, I'll twirl open transform, go to Y rotation, I'll spin it around, we have the front, side, and back colors, and of course there's stopwatches next to all these properties, which means you can animate all of these. And if you do want to add some other properties besides colors, you'll be able to customize those in the material options. So if you've ever wondered how to get that extrusion depth on your 3D layers in After Effects, all you need to do is change the renderer from Classic 3D to Cinema 4D. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.